full moon, blue moon, super moon, harvest moon. These are all different types of moon, but what's the difference? What does it all mean? Let's look at all these different names we have for the moon and see why we have them. Let's start with an easy one, a full moon. The largest and brightest objects in our night sky, a familiar sight to us all. We get a full moon every four weeks, so about 13 of them each year. Next, we have a blue moon. There's nothing special about a blue moon, and it's got nothing to do with the colour blue. It's just a name we use when we have a second full moon in a calendar month. Most months only contain one full moon, but about once a year, a month will contain two, and the second of these is a blue moon. We also have names for a full moon depending on which month it is. So, a full moon in January is a wolf moon, in February it's a snow moon, and so on. Then we have a harvest moon. This is what we call the full moon, closest to the autumnal equinox. Since this occurs in September or October, a harvest moon is also a full corn moon, or a hunter's moon. Then we have a blood moon. During the equinoxes, the moon may pass through the Earth's shadow. The light from the Sun is blocked by the Earth, but not completely. Some light gets refracted through the Earth's atmosphere, where it's tinted red, and so the moon's disk appears a red or orange colour. Next, we have a supermoon, and this happens when we get a full moon that's bigger than normal. The moon's orbit around the Earth isn't circular, it's slightly elliptical, which means that the moon gets closer to us and then further away. So, it seems to get bigger and smaller, and the difference is more than you might imagine. Sometimes the moon is at its biggest when it's a new moon, and shrinks as it approaches full moon. But at other times, the full moon takes place when the moon is at the biggest, and this is a super moon. And if this happens to be the second full moon in a month, then it's a super blue moon. In fact, you can combine several of these moon types together. So, if the second full moon in September is also a super moon, and is coloured red due to a lunar eclipse, then it's a super blue harvest blood moon. All the moon types I've been talking about refer to full moons, but let's take a look at other moon phases. We'll start when the moon is in the same direction as the sun and is barely lit up. This is a new moon, as the moon orbits around the Earth, the lit portion will gradually grow, and so we say the moon is waxing. Initially it's less than half full, so it's a crescent moon, and so the moon is waxing crescent. It then gets to its first quarter. After this, it's now more than half full, so it's a gibbous moon, and as it continues to grow, it's waxing gibbous. Then of course we have a full moon. After this, the lit portion starts to shrink, or wane, and so the moon is waning gibbous. Then it gets to its final quarter, and finally it's waning crescent until we're back to a new moon. So I hope that explains some of the many names we give our moon. Of course, these are just the names we use in the English language. Other cultures around the world will have their own naming systems, very different to our own. Anyway, that's all for this video. See you next time.